and welcome to the inaugural edition of The Dorm. I'm Keith Hill. And I'm Jake Grissom. And we're going to bring you the top programming here at Casper College. And Jake, what are some of these segments our viewers can expect to see? Well, my favorite will be Intense Thinking with Robert. Oh yes, one wild roller coaster ride after another. Keith, what's going to be your favorite segment? I'd have to say, what would you do to be on the dorm? From girls singing Where is Thumpkin to girls half-dressed rustling down a snow-filled mountain. Mm. We're going to have it all. But first, the news. In today's news, young child Timmy White has been praying his whole life for the healing power of God to heal his legs. Well, today God answered with a resounding no. In other news, Taco Hut today announced its newest offering to the public, the morning after burrito. According to sources, it can be taken up to 72 hours after intercourse to prevent pregnancy. One side effect, it'll give you gas so bad you'll never want to have intercourse again. In competition with Regis's hit show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Russia has come up with their own version of the show called Who Wants to Eat a Meal? And now in sports, Chris Buhite. Thank you, Keith. I'm here at the T-Birds game, and it looks as if we're getting off to a pretty good start, a pretty even start. This crowd, this crowd up here at the top, they sure seem to be very excited about this game. Are you excited about this game? Yeah. After looking at these fine ladies here on the floor, volleyball is my new favorite sport. So what did you think of the game? I think it was pretty awesome. We were intense. We played good. We've, we have a great team. We played together, so everything went pretty well. You know, we just stepped up, and Sharon's a pretty good team, so we played up with them and beat them. I'm glad to get revenge on them from last year. Well, that's good. Did they beat you pretty bad last year? They beat us in the championship at regionals last year. What do you think of the game so far? Well, since we've won the first two, I like it. <laughs> I'll bet. So what do you think of the season so far? Um, the girls are doing real well. The, some of the things we're doing out here tonight shows you why they've got 20 wins. They, um, you know, We've made some mistakes a, lo a little bit here and there, but they're not letting it get to them. They just keep playing good defense and hustling and picking up a lot of balls and get back into the swing. So I think that make, that makes a big difference. I think the, how do you feel like the next game's going to go? Um, if we keep up our momentum, the next game should be really the same as this. But um, so we have a lot of good players, so it should uh, actually pick up. But Well, it looks as if the T-Birds have brought us to another victory. And the Beavers, well, they got nothing but net. Come see us on October 12th when we play Western Nebraska right here. And on Saturday is the Midnight Madness Slam Dunk Contest right here on Saturday. you got to come and see it. Back to you, Keith. And welcome to our favorite segment here on the dorm. I'm Keith Hill with Jake Grissom. Over the last week, we've gotten crazy Casper students to do some crazy, zany, wacky stunts live on camera. We call this, What Would You Do to Be on the Dorm? I'm Jake Grissom with the dorm. And right now, we're finding out what people would do just to be on camera. Me? Well, what I'm going to do for you is do a little, uh, let's see, Vince Carter. Windmill dunk and give you a little taste of my back because I don't want to hurt myself. All right, and welcome back to the dorm. We are here with Alicia and Cynthia. And Alicia and Cynthia are uh, going to do a stunt for us so they can try to get on the dorm. Ladies, what are you going to do for us? We're mixed snow angels. <laughs> just in your clothes, just like this? Yeah. All not? right, let's do it. <laughs> to the mountain. Yay! 
Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Damn. This sled right here. Did you want up the hill? Up the hill? No, but I'll try again. careful deliberation, we have come to the conclusion that this week's winner by hair would have to be flipping off the fence boy, Stan. Stan, email us at wolfpacky2k and we will make sure and get you your two free extra large pizzas. But we have a special award this week, don't we, Jake? Oh, we do. <laughs> Cynthia and Alicia, if you'll accept, we're going to take you on a date. That's right, the prize of a lifetime, a date with Keith Hill and Jake Grissom. And now for our favorite segment, Intense Thinking with Robert. Oh yeah, Casper, look out. This is going to be the best part of the show. Hello. Welcome to Intense Thinking, starring I Am Robert. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Hoot Owl. Al Gore wants to protect the Hoot Owl, and the problem is the Hoot Owl is not an endangered species. Furthermore, the Hoot Owl is responsible for killing cats, dogs, and small children. Why protect something that's a predator? I don't believe in that. I think that's disgusting. I think Al Gore is protecting animals that are pretty much frivolous. Next, I mean, protecting a deer? Hell, deers can be hunted, and they're not endangered. Furthermore, next minute he'll be wanting to protect the cow. Something good for eating, a steak. That's good as a steak, and also pigs. He'd want to protect the pigs, which are also good for bacon, and pork chops, and everything and being a good football. And I feel that Al Gore is not doing a good job when it comes to the environment. Why don't he take real causes like uh, the uh, bald eagles or stuff like that, stuff that's in danger. That's my view. And now with student films, Dr. Lloyd Ogte. Did we mention this is our favorite feature? Hello. This is Dr. Lloyd Ogpe on the Casper College campus. What you're about to see is the first production assignment of the basic video production class. The assignment was to produce a 30 second to one and a half minute video that is a personal statement. Since some of the students did not have any editing experience, it was not a requirement that the work be edited. Most, however, chose to do so anyway, relying on those in the class with editing experience to help them. There were no restrictions on the content. The only requirement was that they have their credits at the end. So what is a personal statement? I can't answer that.
Oh, God, it's you. Oh, it's you, Satan. You know, the only reason you have him is because you give him everything. He deserves everything. I think if you didn't give him everything, he would turn away from you. Do you want to put this to a test? I think we should. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, well, Keith, how can I put this lightly? Yeah. You're fired. Is any reason? I mean, is there, did I do something wrong? Did, we just don't need you anymore. What a day. Oh, no. You. Just, I just can't be with you anymore. It's just not working. But you told me you love me. No, it was a game. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what are you doing? I'm repossessing the stuff. I remember that no matter what, that you're there for me. And that though you slay me, yet will I trust in you. Amen. Well, it's you again, Satan. Looks like I won our little bet. Damn! Well, now everything will be restored to you twofold. Hello, my name is Chris Buhait, and as my personal statement, I would like to say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Oh, crap. Is the camera all right? Hello, my name is Chris Buhait, and for a personal statement, I would like to say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Did the lights just go off? What the? Hello, my name is Chris Buhait, and as a personal statement, I would what just like mean? to... What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to film a project here. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I I think we need to go somewhere else. This isn't working here. Let's, like, go outside or something. Hello. My name is Chris Buhite. And as a personal statement, I would just like to see... Are you okay? Hello. My name is Chris Buhite. And as a personal statement, I will. If at first you don't succeed, try, try. Chris. Oh, yawn. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do it right this time. No more messing around, we're doing it right. Hello, my name is Chris Buhite. And for my personal statement, I would like to say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. All right. From an on-camera editorial, to abstract meditation, to a religious commentary, to a melodramatic conflict, to humorous commentaries on our foibles and universal frustrations. I hope you enjoy watching the personal statements from the Casper College basic video production class of 2000. And now to close our show, the quote of the day with Rhea Wicker. Just remember, if you have a habit of wearing fig leaves, don't dance with hungry goats. Thanks for watching, Casper. We'll see you next time.